Alright, ladies and gentlemen. I know it seems like we're going really fast. We are moving at a breakneck speed for the 405. And the 405 means Los Angeles, ladies and gentlemen. The city of Los Angeles. We are in my old hometown. I do miss it a little bit. But not right now. Yeah. It's traffic. Allie's getting me to the airport. Because this is the last day of the indie author road trip slash sex geek road trip. I know we've been a little bit uh, lazy on giving you new videos, mostly because we've actually been having a really great time with friends. And working. And working. working. I was at the X-Biz uh, Expo, the adult toy uh, novelties and, and sex toys and stuff, um, lingerie expo here in Los Angeles where I was judging a little contest or I'm seeing a contest for them. It was great. You did a wonderful job. You met some really awesome people. I met some really awesome people as well. We went to the X-Biz Awards, which was lots of fun. It was tons of fun. Nina Hartley was there, our friend Jimmy Waxman. Larry Flint, Larry although I did not meet we Larry did, We did not meet Larry. Although um, I heard he was in a golden wheelchair. Really? Yeah. Wow. There you go. Uh, some folks from Good Vibes are dear friends from Good Vibes up in the Bay Area. Uh, some good friends from, from the Pleasure Chest from in Los Spartacus. Angeles. Spartacus. We sat, Spartacus. Spartacus uh, sat at our table. They were quite hilarious. Very fun leather people from Portland. Spartacus. <laughs> um, fun Factory. Um, El Dorado. Jeju. Rodeo. Rodeo. I got a really exciting harness from Rodeo. I can't wait to try it. That's gonna be fun. Um, what else did we? I oh, know we're forgetting. Uh, Sex Nerd Sandra was at the show. Mm -hmm. um, oh goodness! I All can't. sorts of fun people. Yeah, uh, Graham from Fleshbot. Graham from Captain. Yes, from there. Fleshbot. Jamie uh, Waxman. Jamie, why you said Jamie? Oh, you said Barbie Davenport. Barbie Davenport was there. Um, um, yeah, it was good. To, it was a good crew and um, some, you know, f lovely porn people that I didn't have a chance to meet, but Wolf Hudson was there. Uh, Skin Diamond, uh, James Dean. You have the ANME founders, yeah. uh, XBiz, who brought me in to, to do my little spiel, and I did some schmoozing. Some and, great uh, schmoozing. And in our trunk is tons of, well, not sex actually 2,000 pounds, but uh, lots of um, sex toys That's for exciting. my upcoming birthday, January 28th. We just decided we're going to do the Sex Geeks. Uh, sex toy review brunch for my birthday. So, um, whoa. So, if you're a sex blogger and you have toys that you've been needing to review but you haven't done it yet, guess what? We're gonna do it, and we're gonna have mimosas. So, email Reed, Reed uh, R E I D at readaboutsex.com, and let him know that you are in the area if and you want to in the Bay Area. In the Bay Area. The weekend of the 28th, January which is, 28th, which is your birthday. Which is 1944. Isn't that exciting? It's crazy. This whole year I thought I was 42. <laughs> and Allison uh, kindly and compassionately um, corrected me. Well, I just did some math. Yeah, but, um, was, uh, yeah apparently. Um, my shoulder's healing up fairly nicely. It's still ouchy. Um, and then I had some good meetings to get some sponsorship deals for some stuff for my Sex Geek Chic Challenge college tour, as well as all the other things I'm doing this year. Buggy yeah. chest. And Smitten Kittens coming up. Body Storytelling in San Diego, which both of us will be telling at. Yeah. Uh, their fifth anniversary is coming up yeah. as well. Um, and well, there will be a San Francisco show. What story are you going to tell? I don't know. Probably a new one. Maybe my Los Angeles one. My, my big Sunset Strip story. Mm. It is a very dirty story. It's probably one of my favorites. Can you give us a little teaser? Um, what does it involve? A lot of bad things. Kind of all the things that Los Angeles is known for um, on the vice side of things, um, all smooshed together, including one very hot cameraman and some very interesting people at a hotel room at the Mondrian. So there you go. I don't even know if I know this story. I think you know the story. Mondrian? Yeah. Okay, well. It's okay. It's a I'll long story, that. but it's a very Los Angeles story. Yeah, okay. Um, what else can we talk about? Did you sell any books today? Uh, no, but I sold uh, some t-shirts yesterday. Um, and which, I... Which ones? The Eat, Fuck, Howl? Yeah, the... Eat, Fuck, Howl. And I confirmed a couple of dates in Portland in April. So I will be in, April, uh, in Portland in April. And I'm also in negotiations to be in Victoria, British Columbia, also in April. So um, if you're anywhere in Vancouver or Victoria or Seattle or Portland, I am coming to you. Or know somebody who is. Or know somebody who is who would like to bring me in. I'm going to teach at colleges. I'm going to teach to LGBT groups. I'm going to do bookstore readings. So um, 
yeah, give me an email. I'm at moon at talesofthepack.com and you can get all, um, you can contact me there and let me know um, if you'd be willing to post me. I'd love to uh, meet folks up in the Pacific Northwest and bring my lesbian werewolf book to you. I'm also opening up, I'm opening up the Yale Sex Week apparently. Um, I'm the Midnight Show kickoff. Uh, and that happens in a couple of weeks. Uh, and I'm also going to be in Vegas for the uh, AVN Porn Awards. Uh, and I'm going to be doing some sex education for the fans of the porn stars on understanding female arousal and orgasm. And that'll be fun. Oh, that's cool. I, I haven't quite titled it yet, but Not let me know. Class. Put some comments down or email me and let me know what you think I should title a class for porn geeks, for fans of porn stars. On, uh, on how to... Uh... How about make her come like a porn star? Oh. Look at that. Well, don't leave a comment. I'm I think we have it. But if you think you can beat <laughs> how to come like a porn star, make her come, make like, her come like a porn star. If you think you can beat it, give me the name and I'll give you a shout out somewhere. Uh, this has been a really good a good tour. Yeah, um, we, we'll we have to do this again We sometime. did have another fight. Oh my God, we had a horrible fight. Oh, it was, it was horrible. Really I was sitting in the bathtub... In the uh, in the hotel room, and Allie was sitting on the bathroom floor, and it was just horrible. It was really bad. It was like two in the mor two thirty in the morning. Oh yeah, it was bad. Well, well, you know what? We'll have to do another road trip and talk about that. <laughs> um, but honey, thank you for going on this trip with me. It was been. I mean, I was so pleasantly surprised by how wonderful it was. Let's kiss before the light turns green. Okay. Keep it chased. There might be children watching. I hope not. <laughs> um. So. Thank you for following us. This has been awesome. Um, this is the last. This concludes. This concludes the indie author road trip slash sex geek road trip. Unless you want to record something while you're on the plane. No. Now I want to record something separately. I'm driving up to Oakland today. He's flying away to Dallas tonight. We are um, we are definitely enjoying the last couple of moments that we have together in the car. With you. With you, the viewer. The viewer. Um, so uh, signing off from almost from LAX. It's Reed Mahalko from ReadAboutSex.com. And Allison Moon from LesbianWerewolves.com slash TalesOfPack.com. Let's see what the radio gives us. Los Angeles. <laughs> the Circle K, ladies and gentlemen. And the Buggy Whip. And the Buggy Whip. Thank you for watching. <laughs>